summer is upon us and whatever you have going on, a vacation, a staycation, a summer wedding, well, Macy's has you covered. If you need summer dresses, matching sets, volume sleeve tops, wedges, straw crafted bags. I mean, really, they have what you need head to toe. I'm talking Levi's, Dolce Vita, Lacoste, and more. So shop summer must-haves at Macy's. Go to Macy's.com slash own your style. Again, that's Macy's.com slash own your style. Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and AbbVie. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. In every pair of Tacoba's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacoba's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T-E-C-O-V-A-S dot com. And don't go gently, y'all. Happy Friday for things, fam. I am... Not used to wishing y'all a happy Friday because I don't have any episodes that release on Friday. Just, uh, you know, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and sometimes Sundays. (laughs) But anyway, here we are on a Friday because this is part two of Botox and body image and, you know, other skincare cosmetic-y type things. My guest is Carrie, who is the Nashville beauty girl. And we're going to be talking about all kinds of things. But before you get into this episode, I've got Kat here, my girl, that joins me for every fifth thing, Kat Tafata, who is a licensed therapist. And this is our little disclaimer that if you're listening to part two, we want to encourage you to listen to part one. You don't have to go listen to it first, but just at some point, what is it, Kat? We want them to raise their hand as they're listening right now and say, raise your right hand and say, I... Listener of the Four Things Podcast, do solemnly swear to listen to part one of Botox and Body Image if I choose to partake in listening to part two, right? Is that it? And Kat, you're here as the expert to say why it's important to listen to both parts of this. Yeah. Well, I think there's a lot of reasons why it's important, but I think a lot of times we or at least in my experience, we I've looked at these kinds of things as just like, kind of like willy nilly. I'm just going to do it and not think about it. And then we end up doing things and our why is actually really like a harmful why, but we didn't pay attention to it. So when that happens, a lot of times then we never can like find a limit and there's never like going to be like an end point or enough point because we don't even know what we're looking for. So I think it's important to go back and listen to what Dylan has to say and listen to like what she really asks people to like consider when they're making this decision So I know what my why is behind my what. I know if I'm in a healthy space, I know that I won't get into a space where there's never going to be enough and there's never going to be, whether it's treatments or just like products or whatever it is. And also, so we can look at if this is actually going to create more positivity in our life than negative consequences. Because a lot of times when we get into this kind of stuff, we are spending money we don't have or we're taking time off of work to get these things that we don't have, or they're causing us mentally to scrutinize ourselves and look at ourselves in ways that we never have before. So we think this thing is actually helping us, but it's actually causing more negative consequences than positive. 
Yeah. And I think it's important for you as yourself to just be equipped with as much knowledge as possible when you're in this, because also when you're talking to someone that's in this field and it's what they do all the time, like, of course, they're going to see things and have suggestions yeah. and different things that might help boost your confidence. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they might throw it out there, but then you have to assess, okay, is this something I can do for myself? Is it something that I want to do? And am I using it for confidence and to yeah. feel my, like the best version of me that I want to put out into the world? Or is this going to cripple me in some way? Yeah. Like if I do it, am I going to get to a point where, oh, you know, I can't leave the house if I don't have X, Y, Z done or whatever the case may be. Yeah. You lean in too much to what other people are saying that you should yeah. get done. And by other people, I mean, you could go visit any office and they might have like a list mm -hmm. of 10 things they're suggesting for you. But just remember why it is you went in there. Maybe yeah. t take some time, sit with it. If you're considering Botox for the first time, like Dylan shares in part one, she's a new mom that thought, you know, she just like looked in the mirror one day and she's like, I don't know. I, I need a little pick me up. I want a confidence booster, but she didn't want to be a hypocrite getting Botox because she works in the body image space and she has so many clients that she's trying to encourage the whole time. So anyway, I could go on and on. The main thing yeah. is listen, if you're going to listen to part two with Carrie, who yeah. gives out the Botox, then make sure you listen to part one, who's someone that works in the body image field that's considering Botox. I just want to say one more thing. Cause I do think that like a lot of times this kind of thing gets like a bad reputation or bad connotation attached to it. And I want people to know whether you have done body image work before, whether you're working on it now, like you can have a good relationship with your body and yourself and also care about what you look like. That doesn't mean that we don't have to care. I think that it's probably health to have a healthy amount of care with what we look like. So I don't want people to automatically write this off as like a good or bad thing. It's very personal and you can have a good relationship with yourself and want to tweak things just like we might want to get our hair colored or something like that. Our eyebrows waxed. Yes. And Dylan talks about that in part one, you know, when it's doing something to your hair for a change, you know, straightening your teeth or whitening mm -hmm. them, whatever. So don't forget the pledge that you took a minute ago. <laughs> I swear to listen to part one if I'm listening to part two. Okay. I hope y'all enjoy it. And yeah, this is an ongoing conversation. If you have questions or you would like, you know, questions for Dylan or Kat or questions for Carrie, then you can send them in to me for things with Amy Brown at gmail.com. All right. So here you go. Part two of Botox and Body Image with Carrie, who is also the Nashville Beauty Girl on Instagram. All right, here we are, part two of Botox and Body Image. Amy here, and this time I've got the Nashville beauty girl with me. At least that's her handle on Instagram. Her real name is Carrie, and we're talking Botox, skincare, other cosmetic things that people might be interested in. But, you know, as in part one, we were focusing on are you doing this for confidence? or because you will feel less than if you don't get it done. And Carrie, you know, you see people in and out of your office every single day. Mm -hmm. I put up a little Q&A box just saying, do you have skincare questions for Carrie? And Botox is by far the number one thing that was asked about. I love it. So you can just walk us through what Botox is and why we get it. I say we because I'm a patient or am I a patient or a client of yours? You're a patient client and friend. So you can, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't know. You know, I throw that term around too. I, when I'm I feel like when I'm talking with Dr. Hightef, I'm like, hey, this patient said this. But when I'm talking to just my coworkers, it's clients. Yeah. So it's, I, I realize I do that myself. Okay. So I was like, <laughs> I, I don't even know what I am technically. <laughs> so I put that question box up on Instagram and I wanted to share with you a sweet message that someone entered in. It wasn't a question, just a statement. And they said, I love Carrie. She transformed my skin with Zio products all by doing video calls with me from Florida to Texas. Mm -hmm. And you did have a stint in Florida, but the big announcement too, for some people that don't know, is that you've moved back to Nashville and you're here full time. Yeah. And you mentioned Dr. Hatef, mm -hmm. and that's the office that you're at. So I'll let you give a little bio about yourself before we get into the Botox, the retinol, the best treatments all for this, your favorite Zio <laughs> products, basics for a tired mom on a budget. All these were the questions that were sent in, like huge pores. Can they shrink? Let's talk about face shaving, microneedling. So before we do that, Carrie, take it away. 
Well, I'm so excited to finally be back podcasting with you. We talk about it all the time and then our, everything just didn't line up, but you're right. We shifted to Tampa for about two and a half years. I still flew back here to treat clients like once a month at Dr. Hightow's office here in Nashville. It was just hard to take a lot of new clients. And of course, back with COVID, it's also annoying, but I try to find the blessings in all that time. And it was, I was able to do virtual consults with Zio Skincare. But since then, we have shifted back to Nashville and we moved back at the end of the last year and we are here to stay. But yes, for people who I haven't seen or I don't know, I'm a cosmetic nurse. And so I've been in this industry for over 20 years and my love is building confidence in patients, whether regardless if it's skincare or injectables or in plastic surgery, my jam is just, I love building the confidence with skin or even with any situation about the skin. Yeah. Yes. And you know, you mentioned doing the virtual consults. Are you still doing those or no? Well, it became hard to do, but before that, ZO skincare website was not offering guided help by expert trainers and tests that you can take to figure out what skincare route to go. And so with Tampa and then Florida, and then it just became kind of hard to get, you know, to to do as much as I was always doing. So now Zio Skincare's website offers a skin test that you can take and it tells you what products it recommends. And then any questions that you have, there's a chat box. And so real live expert trainers are on there to kind of guide you and they ship it out. So right when I was feeling like kind of guilty for not doing virtuals as much, that happened. So I do guide patients that aren't living locally in Nashville to jump on the website. And then I also tell them if you have any questions or you need to help me or you need just a girl talk to adjust your routine, then DM me back. I'm here for you. But most of the time with being local and people come to Nashville because they want to come to Nashville. So a lot of times they'll come in on their trips and then I'll work them in, you know, to help them with their skincare. So yeah. So so, you are taking new clients. If people are coming to Nashville, you just need to get ahead of the schedule and get on the book. Most time they they DM me or text me and I, and then I work out, you know, especially since they're traveling in definitely to see them, but it's easier in the office. So well, another thing about Zio is they have been so kind and they're doing a giveaway for this episode. Mm-hmm. So everybody's skincare is a little bit different. So we're not going to say exactly what you're going to be getting because maybe there will be an assessment and you're going to get a few different products that you can test out that would be good for you and your skin needs. So we're very thankful to Zio for that and how you enter for the Zio product giveaway, which is what I use, Carrie uses, we're obsessed with, but this is going to be an amazing gift because it is on on the pricier side of things. But for me, it's been totally worth it. It has transformed my skin. And I am at an age and a place where I can afford to do that for my skin. But I just hope that this giveaway will be an awesome surprise and a a happy. Carrie likes to bring people gifts. She just brought me the most beautiful candle and she's like, I brought you a happy. And so hopefully winning this Zio package will be a happy for someone and it'll be something that's really special. So again, very thankful for that. And how you enter is take a screenshot of this episode to show us that you're listening, post it on Instagram and the stories and in the next week of the release of this episode for a full week, we will be saving screenshots of you tagging us in your stories that you're listening. I'm at Radio Amy. Carrie is at the Nashville Beauty Girl. And then we will just randomly pick a winner Mm -hmm. to uh, be the recipient of the Zio product giveaway. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk Botox. Mm -hmm. Carrie, what is it? Why do people get it? What are the most popular places? And then really, how does someone know when they're a candidate for Botox? Mm -hmm. So Botox is magic. (laughs) It's a neuromodulator, meaning that when it's injected into the muscle, it actually affects the nerve. And the nerve is responsible for telling the muscle to make expression, to move, to sweat. There's all kinds of just even different reasons why Botox is so beneficial. It's first used medically years and years, over 30 years ago, and has gone cosmetic, of course, over the last years. And then we're finding even more amazing ways that Botox helps the skin. Most recently, I've been posting a lot about pore reduction using Botox. It's not actually in the muscle. And headaches and sweating, there's, it's just, it's, 
just begun, you know? I have multiple friends that get Botox all over their head, like even in their scalp mm-hmm. where their hair is, like it's yeah. definitely not mm-hmm. cosmetic, but it is for migraines. Mm-hmm. And I have had it in the jaw area because of clenching. Yes. You've helped me out with that. My dentist was first going to offer to do it, mm-hmm. but then you were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no dentist is touching your face. <laughs> and so, you know, that's another question that someone sent in about grinding or clenching. Yes, especially breaking teeth. I mean, Botox is huge for reducing that masseter. And I look at it as a facial shape change. A lot of times it can make the jaw look square. And on some face shapes, that can even look masculine because you're grinding and using that muscle. You're working it out for so many years. And especially if you're breaking teeth, I would think that the dentist would definitely give me a high five to help with that. But it can reduce the size of those masseter muscles and actually slim down the face, especially for patients that have their masseters are just getting very bulky. And you want to keep that nice feminine, you know, shape for the level of attractiveness. So Besides that, it can, you know, it can do a lot of other aesthetic things. So who would you recommend someone go to? Because I think they were asking, like, what if my dentist offers it? Should I take them up on that? All right, you got to love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy. Because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th, and Macy's has got you covered. Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 50 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category, like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. Top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. I don't want to waste my time taking vitamins that aren't really going to do much for me. Like I want research. I want to know like, hey, this is actually doing something for my body. And Ritual knows this. That's why they conducted the research. They've done clinical trials on their Essential for Women 18 plus multivitamin. The results, well, it increased vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. And as a woman, I want healthy vitamin D levels and omega-3 levels. And all I got to do is take my Ritual Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin every morning. I take them on an empty stomach, but sometimes if I forget, I may take them in the afternoon. It's really up to you when you want to take them. There's nine key nutrients in two delayed release capsules. And what the delay release capsules does for us is it optimizes our body's absorption of these nutrients. It's gentle on the empty stomach. Like I said, I can take it first thing in the morning and I'm totally fine. And with a minty essence in every bottle, it actually makes taking your vitamins enjoyable. No more shady business. Ritual is essential for women. 18 plus is a multivitamin that you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash four things. Start Ritual or add Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash four things for 25% off. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Something that I've learned in therapy is that goals are really important. Like, it can really help you out. Like, when life is going so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate how far you've come, celebrate those wins, but also look forward to where you're going make adjustments for the rest of the year. And therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next three months, the next six months. I have personally benefited from therapy in so many ways. I feel like we'd be here all day if I were to tell you all of the ways therapy has helped me out, giving me tools to have my back pocket for when we need to bust them out, coping skills, how to set boundaries. I feel so much more empowered uh, because of therapy. So I'm very thankful for it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, well, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Take a moment, visit betterhelp.com slash four things today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash four things. Again, you're going to get 10% off your first month. 
In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. A great pair of Western boots will elevate a casual look or add a refined flair that'll draw both eyes and compliments. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they will last a lifetime. Now, the best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. They also offer custom branding and leather stamping if you want to personalize your boots or fine leather goods. And stay cool in a short sleeve moisture wicking pearl snap. Or make your own shade with one of their classic straw hats, new in both men's and women's styles. And if you're planning to hit the road, Tacova's ever-growing lineup of rugged and full-grain leather bags will get you where you're headed in style, and they are built to last decades. Visit Tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. So, who would you recommend someone go to? Because I think they were asking, like, what if my dentist offers it? Should I take them up on that? Well, if a dentist recommends it and they say we do this all the time, earlier in my career, I often questioned why aren't dentists saying or doing this more? Because they're, they're in there all day long. And some just don't even offer Botox as they stay in their lane, but it, it is an advanced injection. And so when, you know, it's a question that you would ask your injector if, you know, you're on a good relationship with them. Most injectors that I would think that aren't comfortable doing an advanced procedure, if they work with a doctor, maybe they are too, that they would honestly say, I'm not the one that does that, but I'm going to send you to the best person that does. So okay. yes, it's well, a thing. Okay. Then back to someone that's considering it for the first time. Because in part one, I was talking to my friend Dylan, who, you know, she's a new mom. She is is a working woman. She's a professional. She's in front of clients all day long. And she just started to notice things about her face. And she's mm-hmm. wanted a little pick me up sure. and she wanted a confidence booster. Yep. So she went through the steps to determine that, yeah, she feels like Botox is a good option for her and she's going to do it. So others listening might be in the same position, first timers how do you know when you should get it and what what will it even do for you? So there's usually two ways it goes and it's because their friends are getting it and you're, you're getting older and you're looking more tired. Coworkers, friends are questioning if you've got enough sleep or are you mad? And so that's an area where Botox actually lifts muscles and drops muscles so it can brighten you up and make you look less tired, which is another level of attractiveness. And then there's also the side where are your static lines, like forehead lines or lines around your eyes, are they sticking? Like when you're not making any expression at all, can you still see your lines? That's an indicator that Botox could be right for you because those muscles have been working so hard to create those lines in the skin. And then over time, your skin starts to age too. And so those lines just start to stick. So if we can relax the muscle to where the muscles aren't working so hard to create the lines and then use skincare and skin treatments to improve the health of the skin and build that collagen, then the muscles aren't working against me in those treatments. So it's kind of like a combination approach. So usually the patients that are coming in for consults, it's one of the two. And if they have static lines, when I bring it to their attention, this is also going to lift your muscles. You're going to have a little bit more lift around your eye area. Anatomical features play a huge role when you're assessing the needs of a patient for Botox. Someone put in the question box asking about jelly roll Botox and I Oh, I love the Gucci even... bag. There's all kinds of cute little names. Yes. It's called the Gucci bag? I call them Gucci bags, like under the eyes. Oh, yes. Okay. Or jelly so... roll. But they're, yeah. So when you smile, your the eye muscle can have a little puff underneath the eye and you can flatten that with using Botox. So And then sometimes you have an eye that's smaller than the other. And for patients that smile and they almost lose one of their eyes when they're smiling and the other eye looks bright, they might not realize that they can ask about that if it's not being brought up by their injector during the consult, that it can open up your eye. It's kind of like a little bit like upneak for, you know, the muscles around your eye. So it's an advanced level. Upneak is an oh, eye drop oh. thing. I know that you're obsessed with Amy, who does my lashes. Mm-hmm. Uh, her, her company is here in Nashville. She's the founder, and it's just called Lash. Now there's tons of lash places in Nashville, but hers is just Lash. She's the OG. She's the OG, <laughs> L-A-S-H. 
OG, Amy. <laughs> and she was asking me about up knee because mm-hmm. she might start carrying it there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my goodness, Carrie, just talk to me about it. And I bought some before I went to LA to film mm-hmm. the movie just to make sure my eyes were open and bright. So anyway, we won't get sidetracked with all that, but people can search it up if they want to know more. But Someone also sent in, what about Botox at 60 or after 60? Never had anything done. So absolutely. Is that an option? And then what ages are people starting to get things you done? Know, every, I would say the prime would be when you start to see a change in your skin. And that's usually going to start with the upper 20s, lower 30s. At age 30 was my first Botox experience. Yeah. So after the age of 28, we start to see sun damage that we accrued back in our teenage years when we were resilient, wild, and free and didn't even think about wrinkles and didn't care about having a suntan and all that. So we start to see that happen. And the collagen effects of the sun will also start to make your skin lose volume and wrinkles can start. And then a lot of times people will come in and notice, like, I just, I feel like in this picture of me three years ago, when I was 25, I look so different now. Like, like, why do I have hollows underneath my eyes? And like, there's just changes that start to happen. We, we lose a blueberry of collagen every year after the age of 28. So I would say that, I don't know, over half is percent of the patients coming in are going to be like that early thirties. But don't feel but, it, don't oh, feel bad about yourself no, if you're no. older and you've never oh, done no, it. Hundred percent. And I said, have girl. I have got, I have patients younger than that. I've got patients that are you know close to you know twenty that they have a deep deep line in between their eyebrows and their mom or dad genetically have it and they're going off to college or they're in college and it's just very confident declining to them and you know when you're in college I. I encourage your confidence to be up as high as it can be. And so, you know, they'll come in, like with, maybe I treat their mom already and they just want to know. So no, there's, everybody has a situation. But, but then I, there's the older audience too. Oh, yes. It's absolutely, I would say the older, it, it's great for rejuvenation and confidence boosting as as you get older. So, you know, 60s is, is absolutely okay. You know, you're never too, I don't think you're never too far gone. And there's questions that are asked, of course, if it's, laxity and skin and things like that. But but no, yeah, Botox in the 60s is absolutely, honestly, I feel like most of my patients in the 60s, like 60s is the new 30. But muscle-wise, yes, you are okay in your 60s to have Botox. And, you know, I think too, it can be intimidating if you've never gone into someone's office before and you've never even had a consultation about this sort of thing. And as long as you're going to a place that is kind and thoughtful. That's what I've enjoyed. There was nothing intimidating about anybody at y'all's office. Everybody is so... That's a compliment. That's, nice. That's what it should be. I like think, from yes. the minute you walk in, it's like, oh, they know exactly... Because they, they're... I, I just always assume they're looking at the appointment log and they're paying attention and they're like, oh, you must be here to see Carrie. Yeah. Take a seat. She'll be right with you. Mm-hmm. Because I know what that can feel like the first time you're going in to just at least have a consultation about it, which I would assume you highly recommend before booking anything is go oh, get a consult. The consultation is beyond appointment. And probably one of my favorite things about my job is the consult because you get to learn new patients and then you're also answering questions and you're putting a lot of people at ease. And just because you're in the chair having a consult doesn't mean that you're paying for it and you're doing it. Almost like plastic surgery consult too. You're just getting more knowledgeable about a treatment that you're interested in. And so I don't, I think that knowledge is power. And what you don't know, you kind of always fear. But I understand the intimidation part too. I mean, you have someone come to pick you up that has all this stuff done. You're like, great, great. Like her skin's (laughs) perfect. Okay. And so I- I Because they work in a place where y'all have all the tools and and things. (laughs) But also that's a good point is that when you are with a provider that is aesthetically going to hopefully enhance your features and confidence, you look at them too. I mean, are they over injected? Do you want to look like them? Like, do you like the way they look and present themselves? And, you know, sometimes, you know, that overfilled look is not good. That's not how I like to practice. So that's also could be a red flag when you are, you know, meeting your new provider. I would say the biggest is referral. I mean, you know, your girlfriends go to somewhere and they get Botox. Those are your friends that you ask because you've got some friends that just don't get it. And they're like, okay, well, I'm not sure. But when you have your friends that look good and you like the way they look and they always love seeing their injector, then those are usually like, I think it's the referral is probably the biggest 
way you know, to get yeah. it. Like, yeah. I, I've talked about this multiple times about how I hated that my eyebrows got so messed up when I got my first microblading experience. Oh, okay. It was it was awful. But when I went to Megan to get new microbladed brows, or actually I still had the old ones, like big old caterpillars like tattooed <laughs> on my face or bladed into my face. And Megan was like, I can't do anything with you until you go see my friend Carrie. Here's her number. And that's literally how I met mm -hmm. you. And at the time, I had gotten other injections from multiple different people around town. And sometimes it might take trial and error with people, even if you do have a referral, which some of, some of those people I did. And some of those people did a, a great job. It wasn't anything that anybody had wrong. Just for me and my personal taste, it was harsh. And I hadn't really landed on a very specific person. I was bouncing around. And so because I met you through the brows, because Megan wanted you to laser off my brows, you were able to do that so she could put my new brows on, which we love, Beauty by Megan. Oh, she's the best. I know. Oh, Megan, M-E-E-G-E-N. Oh, she's been God. on the podcast before too, so you mm -hmm. can search that episode up if you want to hear. But that's how I met you. And you were able to, once you got your hands on me and lasered off my brows, you said, ooh, you know, I could start that taking lateral, over yes. your your Botox and different things and soften you. Like we could soften a lot of what is happening. And I look at pictures from then and now and you you absolutely softened me for sure. And so sometimes it just takes maybe a really crappy microblading situation <laughs> to, to finally meet mm -hmm. the right person. Yes, and so yes. I'm, again, finding gratitude in the times that are bad because that was just bad. I was like, this is my face. And now I have these huge brows. Do you remember how bad they were? I do. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> so bad. Mm -hmm. All right, you got to love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th and Macy's has got you covered. Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 50 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. Top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. From searching online to asking your friends and family, there are a lot of ways to look for jobs. But have you considered finding your next job through a staffing company? Your local Express Employment Professionals team is your one connection to endless job opportunities. With just one application, they can help you find a job at a company that fits your needs. Visit ExpressPros.com. And as always, Express never charges job seekers a fee. Express knows when companies are hiring, offers benefits and competitive pay. And in just one interview, they are prepared to present you to multiple companies who fit your needs. Express Employment Professionals places people in all kinds of jobs, including everything from customer service to warehouse jobs to accounting and IT roles. Let Express help you. And remember, there is never a fee for job seekers. Go to expresspros.com to get started and discover for yourself what it's like to have support in your job search. You can also start through the Express Jobs app. Download it today to search jobs, apply, and contact your local Express office. If your business needs a new application, then developers will have to write code, a lot of code. If an application needs to be modernized, then you'll need time, resources, and caffeine. If that sounds daunting, then you need Watson X Code Assistant, AI designed to multiply developer productivity so you can generate code quickly. Let's create a more modern foundation for business with Watson X Code Assistant. Learn more at ibm.com slash code assistant. IBM. Let's create. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. A great pair of Western boots will elevate a casual look or add a refined flair that'll draw both eyes and compliments. 
Tecova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they will last a lifetime. Now, the best way to shop for boots is at your local Tecova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. They also offer custom branding and leather stamping if you want to personalize your boots or find leather goods. And stay cool in a short sleeve moisture wicking pearl snap. Or make your own shade with one of their classic straw hats, new in both men's and women's styles. And if you're planning to hit the road, Tacova's ever-growing lineup of rugged and full-grain leather bags will get you where you're headed in style, and they are built to last decades. Visit Tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. Okay, in the question box on Instagram, retinol showed up a lot. Mm-hmm. People are very curious. I think that's something, I don't know if it's retin A, retinol. I, I don't know the difference, but I know that. I, at one point, was using Differin mm-hmm. along with all my Zio skincare. You had me doing it at some point. Confession, I have since stopped. But I'm like, shoot, do I need to be adding some mm-hmm. sort of retin whatever back into my skincare? Because I, I do remember peeling and flaking. And, and that's a normal anticipated reaction. Yeah. You should have some peeling and flaking. You do get over that hump. And Differin is a great choice for something that went over the counter That is your hybrid of a Retin-A and Retinol in one. It's a little bit more of a buffered Retin-A. So it's not so aggressive. So it's a great place to start. And that can be found, yeah, Amazon, Target, Target. Walgreens, Mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. And so obviously I had you to be like, hey, you know all my Zio skincare. So you knew where I worked it in. But let's just say someone's washing with a gentle cleanser and then they have a moisturizer. Like what's the step in different? Should they start every other night or once a week mm-hmm. if they're using the over-counter? Mm-hmm. I like two nights a week for three weeks, go to three nights a week for three weeks, go to four nights a week, and then maintain Monday through Thursday every single night and then take the weekends off. And then by that time, you're totally fine to either go to something stronger that might be at your plastic surgeon or dermatologist office or maintain on different, but use it nightly. Because that way it eases you into that anticipated reaction of that little bit of flaking, which is amazing because it's turning your skin cells over, your skin's getting brighter, brown spots are reducing, pores are getting better. And different's a great place to start for young girls that are dealing with blackheads and acne also, if they're not seeing a dermatologist. And then I know Zio has different retinol or retin-A mm-hmm. type products. Yes. So if you want to share about anything or a combo that you like of that, mm-hmm. and then multiple people asked your favorite Zio products. Mm-hmm. This is how much oh, I, so I feel like I, I mentioned you and Zio and people oh. know that I use it. But well, and plus I know a lot of my listeners have, you know, become I've Zio gotten fans. to the point that I honestly will not even start treatments on a patient especially the ones that are new to me, if they don't agree to be on Zio, I am not like you are neither, like not endorsed, paid, nothing. I see such a difference in my skin personally and also the science behind the healthiness of what it's doing beneath the skin to make your skin healthier is just so confident boosting, but it also increases the efficiency of your in-office treatments. So your in-office treatments are going to be more... I mean, you're going to get, you're going to have more of a, of a result with fewer treatments when your skin's healthier on the homework end. So there's a reason why I incorporate ZO only into all of our, you know, treatments and, and everything. The probably the, my most favorite retinol product that ZO has is wrinkle texture and repair. Wrinkle texture is a deeper dermal retin-A. It's not going to be as superficial that we use like radical night repair is used to turn over your skin cells and that at-home peel I talked so much about during COVID and peeling at home. But the wrinkle texture repair is part of the anti-aging trio, which is growth factor, firming, and wrinkle texture repair. Growth the factor firming, is one thing and then firming, oh, the firming serum. serum. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's like my little trio for my anti-aging hero concerns for those patients. But the biggest claim to fame is Erin, who we all love, Erin Opria. What changed her skin the most in the skincare aisle was the trio of wrinkle texture and repair, growth factor and firming serum. That was like her jam to help me get her skin collagen remodeled and so that her treatments are working better. And with her 
crazy lifestyle. I could, I have to get in like what I can. I know she's so good about (laughs) always posting what products she's using and her visits with you and what she does. And I love that. It's a full circle moment for me too, because she was training me Mm -hmm. and she would compliment my skin. Mm -hmm. And I said, Oh, you have got to see Carrie. Like she's the one to go to. So then you got her in and now she's been a very loyal client of of yours. Yeah. Y'all are both, Oh, y'all are both amazing. And it's just a platform that y'all both have. I love that you're spreading the confidence of the small things that you do and just being open and honest about it so that, you know, everyone can be confident. I love it. Back to Zio products. I know you've often said that daily power defense is the the hero product. Like if someone were to only be able to buy one item, would you say, you've said that before, so oh I don't gosh, know if know, that's changed. You so maybe Daily have. Power, I feel like, is just the mecca out of all the products. It does so much at the cellular level to make your skin produce its own hydration. And there's so many other big words and things about Daily Power. It's part of the getting the skin ready. So I tell patients, if you don't know where in the hell to start in Zio world, there's a kit. It's a travel kit, but the daily kit's amazing because it's got the cleanser, a polish, the complexion pads, and daily power in it. So those steps are geared to help with just healthier skin. So healthier skin, your skin's firmer, your your skin's brighter, your pores are tighter, and then you, you can zone into your hero concerns, whether it's pigment, aging, acne scars, acne, you know, whatever. So the daily power is, yeah, she's a good one. Someone had typed in, you know, best basics for a tired mom on a budget. And obviously everybody's budget is totally different. Mm -hmm. Something you and I have talked about years ago was, you know, a gentle cleanser from the drugstore of like, because I use the gentle cleanser from Zio. Mm -hmm. And then maybe doing, you know, the face shaving at home, which is like some people go and get dermaplaning and they pay all this money for it. I teach my patients how to do it at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that's a a way to help your skin feel really smooth. Make your products go on easier using less product. Right. Your makeup looks better. You're just glowy. So and it's, it's getting rid of the peach fuzz. It's and exfoliation. If you have other facial hair, it's not going to make it grow back thicker. No, it's not. But it, people think that. Well, you know, when your skin feels nice and smooth and that starts to grow back and you kind of feel it, it it's not normal to feel because you're used to just that, that vellus hair being soft or you just shaved your face and your skin's nice and soft, but that starts to grow back. It freaks you out thinking, oh my gosh, that stubble feels different, you know? And so, no, it's not going to make your hair grow back more. But I love that it does prepare your skin for the topical things you're going to put on. Face shaving at home also helps with fine lines and it's help wrinkles that you may have. Just Mm -hmm. be careful around the eye area. I've cut myself a few times, even down my neck, Ooh, which is another pro tip of no matter what products you're using, Carrie always loves to remind us to go from the top of our heads down to our boobs. Mm -hmm. She likes to say top of your head to your tits. (laughs) If there's kids Your new face from your tits to your forehead, yes. Yes, there there you go. But I- If it makes it funny to them, they'll remember and then they'll thank me. (laughs) Yes, that's true. And I neglected my chest and my neck for a long time. And now I make sure to put my products everywhere. At 41, that's what I'm starting to see age, which- Again, aging is okay. And if you're listening to this p- podcast, then you might just be looking for different tips and, and tricks and things you can do for yourself to boost your confidence. But if you're someone that doesn't mind of any of the stuff, then that is okay too. I just have now made it a point to do it on the top of my hands as well, because that's where I've noticed some aging. So when I have leftover or put product, it, if you do your one pump mm-hmm. on the back of your hand and that yeah. way, when you're done, it's just already on there. Yeah. Like if you, I always put mine like by habit in the back of my hand. And then when I'm done, I'm just, I just kind of go like this. Oh, pro tip. Yeah. Cause I always put it in, inside of my palm, but yeah, if you already have it there and then just rub whatever's left over. Do you over. rub it before you put it on your face? Or I you, try not to, because I don't want it to rub it. Yeah. I don't want to rub it into my fingers. I have people that do that. My husband being one of them. I'm like, you just lost $10. Oh my gosh. You know, you just, you know, in that one pump. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? So keep the back of your hands in mind, keep your neck. And then, and yeah, the, the face shaving back to that, just be careful when you're doing it and use like a tinkle razor, or I like the, the Bic disposables, but with no moisture strip, don't just use whatever you would shave your legs with to shave your face. That moisture strip breaks me out. It has, who knows what chem? I don't even know what mm-hmm. is in it, like aloe something or another with who knows what else. Mm-hmm. And what I break out you if break I ever them. do it. So for me personally, I keep it clean and 
You can even use the tinkle razors and do something dry, but that's a way to save money on product because you're getting your skin ready to absorb everything. You don't have to use as much Do product. you shave your face with your cleanser or do you do dry skin? If I'm using the Bic razor that has no moisture strip disposable, I use it with my face cleanser. Uh-huh. If I'm using the tinkle razor, I do it dry. Yes. So. Either one. You might get a little bit of a closer exfoliation if you're doing it on dry, but you're right. The tinkle works so much better. For newbies, I encourage them to have do a wet dermaplane. Okay, so basically that would be the tinkle razor with cleanser. Mm-hmm. Or the sh- or the, the big razor. But okay. just use a cleanser in general. I'll call it a wet dermaplane for, for like newbies that are scared. Okay, wet dermaplane. <laughs> Got it. Okay, someone said, I have huge pores. Can they shrink? Mm, that's my favorite question. I love pores question. You're born with your pores. And as you get older, your pores will also pull down with the laxity of your skin. So your pores are your pores. Are there things that you can do to make them appear smaller? Heck yes. I can testify to that or be attest to that, that that is fact, because I had this huge pore on my right side. I mean, it was big and I kind of loved it because I could extract oh, stuff from oh, it yes, sometimes. Yes. And I was like, gratifying. so satisfying, <laughs> but I don't even see it anymore. Mm-hmm. Yes. So microneedling, radiofrequency treatments, like with the microneedling that it's heated, the stamping, the Botox in the pores, skin tox, that will make your pores appear airbrushed for a couple of months. That's my newest jam. Ooh, good question about Botox that I didn't ask. How long does it typically last? And how long, you know, because for beginners, they may not know, wait, mm-hmm. how many times a year am I going to have to get yeah, this done? And that's another question. I think it's great in the consult because... Botox, when you're fully corrected, you got the full dose into your muscle, you can expect four months until that nerve starts to talk to that muscle again. But the effects of four months of being having your muscles not working so hard are still in effect, meaning that those lines are not going to come back full force and be stuck in there like it was, you know, four months ago. And then also, I would say the patients that need Botox, more of that that muscle lifts, they don't they don't look as tired are going to be the first ones that are going to be back at four months to get another redose. The patients that come for just the superficial lines because they're seeing those lines, they might be okay for six months to, you know, I would, yeah. So it's case by case. It's case by case. Yes. But theoretically four months. Okay. And you mentioned microneedling for pores. Mm -hmm. Someone had asked, does microneedling help with age spots? Microneedling is not going to affect age spots. So age spots are going to need usually chemical peels or laser for brown spots. Microneedling, it's like the one thing it doesn't really affect is is brown pigmentation. It can actually help with a little bit of the redness and, and, and like the red vessels in circulation, but it's not like my workhorse to use it if that patient has rosacea or redness, we're going to go more towards a laser that targets red. Microneedling is going to be for like my like glassing out your skin is what I call it. The pores, texture, crepiness, thickness around the mouth area, like those barcodes or smokers lines, things like that are superficial, acne scars. That's great for your microneedling. And microneedling can also be a delivery for other things because I'm creating injury holes into the skin. So you can use PRP. I'm even using a product called Sculptra to firm up the skin because it's going into those holes. Or you can piggyback it with a chemical peel for a deeper peel. Now, if you do pair microneedling with a chemical peel, that's going to help with some brown spots as far as pigmentation. But microneedling by itself, basic, is not going to be your workhorse for brown spots. Someone, I guess, that already uses Zio Skincare said that if they're able to only do one in-office treatment with their Zio routine, what is the most effective and how often? I'm sure also, too, this is so case by case because I know. someone I'm like, okay, else so is, is it like, pigment? Is it acne scar? Is it poor or is it okay, let's you say, know, aging? Let, let's just use me as a, a you know 41-year-old, been your client for several years now, but if you could only do one skincare treatment on me, that's it. That's all we're allowed. Which one would you keep doing or you choose to do? I would go for the microneedling because okay. I can deliver other treatments with that microneedling if Sneak I had to in. get a brown spot. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to... Like, <laughs> or I would elevate it and go for a medical hydrofacial. Hydrofacials are a great introduction into the in-office treatments that you're going to, I mean, like, 
glow. Oh, I've gifted a hydrofacial. There was a place, it wasn't in town, so I didn't use you, but I had two friends elsewhere that I just wanted them to have a pick me up and found good places that do a hydrofacial mm-hmm. and I gifted them. And they were like, oh my gosh, oh, it's, my skin is glowing. Oh yes. And there's different solutions that can be delivered for different concerns, but it's the technology behind the medical hydrofacial that allows it to go like really get inside that pore and then safely and also to just differentiate between different skin concerns. It can be used for that. So anybody from age from just anti-aging to brown spots to, to acne or rosacea can benefit from hydrofacial because there's different solutions that could be used to treat that type of patient. But then you're going to, yes, there's no downtime. You're glowing. Your skin feels clean. Well, um, I feel like this is the one we're picking, hydrofacial. I, I will say- You're hy- selling me on it right okay. now. <laughs> All right. So hydrofacial, because then after I get you down, I'm assessing you for hydrofacial. I can really figure out like what your main concern is. We can go from there. So it is a great way into the door for an in-office treatment. And when when your skin is already getting healthier, you're only going to get an even more, ex, you know, elevated experience from your hydrofacial because you're already coming in with like good skin because it's already on its healthy route from using the ZO products. Yeah. What about ice rolling? Like I have ordered one of those ice rollers off Amazon and I just walk around and I pull out of the freezer and I roll it oh, across my face and my neck. Absolutely. Or I've seen people dipping their face into an ice bowl. I can't wait for you, you to just do that one. Fill up a big like <laughs> popcorn bowl full of ice and then add water and then dunk your face into it. Don't we love TikTok? Yes. That's where <laughs> I've hole. seen it on TikTok <laughs> and then Instagram Reels. One time years ago, I made this just silly video that we put on YouTube. It's not even up there anymore, which I'm sad about. It, was taken down with like a bunch of videos that got deleted and I forgot to save it. Mm-hmm. But my sister and I were at her house and we were playing around and I was doing this like spoof on this Faga. I called it Faga face yoga. And I had pantyhose as my Faga tool. And basically I would put the pantyhose on my face and stretch it out. But I mean, it was just, I was joking. And we had all these exercises and they weren't real, but it was like trying to massage your face and Then at the end, I said, okay, and now after a few deep breaths, you close your practice by dipping your face into an ice bath. And I like slammed my face down in this. And this is years ago, like 10 or more. So, and my sister and I were just playing around at her house and I'm like, dang, I wish I still had that video because now people are literally slamming their face down into ice bowls. And we were just joking, but I'll do it now if like, I maybe have woken up and maybe I had a few margaritas. I'm saying I will do it now. I haven't, but should we be? Like, what if we have wake up with some inflammation? Is sure. it worth it to yes. dip our face it's- into an ice bowl? Because this is also <laughs> a, um, maybe a basic uh, thing that- The ice top- roller I think works well because it, I think is lymphatic. And then also it's decreasing puffiness, inflammation, even if blemishes can be deflamed from the ice. I have a newfound love for ice, just being a plastic surgery nurse. And I went through a revision rhinoplasty and I cannot believe just the decrease in swelling. I just, as a nurse, I should know this, but ice is freaking magic. <laughs> it okay. Is. So this is another thing for yes. a tired mom on a budget. Just get yourself some ice. Yes. There you go. You Rub just, it all over your face. You, ice is free. Yes. <laughs> so ice is, yeah. Put it in a Ziploc bag and there you go if but, you have to. But be careful for how long you put it on your oh, skin because yes. you could burn yeah, it. You don't want to, you know, harm. Yes. Yeah. You so, know, I feel like you know when it's like, okay, that's enough, mm-hmm. you know, but the rollers are good because it's, or even those masks that you can get on Amazon, the ice mat, like the the um the, the facial mask that you just put in the freezer and they freeze up because they start to dethaw within like what five minutes ten minutes and then you know and they normally over. velcro mm-hmm. around your head so you can but walk derma, around and ooh dermaplane first mm-hmm. dermaplane first and then do an ice mask oh yes okay well Carrie thank you so much for always you know breaking some of these questions down for us I had so many more but. Well, maybe we'll have to do a, a part three because yeah. this is part two to the conversation. Mm-hmm. Again, if you haven't heard part one, I encourage you to go back and listen because maybe you're debating it and you don't know where you fall and just to make sure you're in a, a healthy place before you go in for a consultation and then ask your friends for referrals, talk to people, make sure you're going to someone that you trust mm-hmm. and that you know you can be 
honest with. Mm-hmm. Like I mentioned this on part one about lip injections and my lips were out of control. I can't even believe that looking back in a picture that they were ever allowed to do that. <laughs> like that, mm-hmm. that I couldn't look in the mirror and be like, what? And I haven't gotten filler in my lip with you actually in a very, very long time. But you've, if you've done it, you've done teeny tiny amounts and you're like, so beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Like, I just feel like that's what you're like, like pop, pop, pop. (laughs) But you've been doing something called a Botox lip bump. Mm Mm-hmm. So a lip flip. Yeah. A lip flip. Yeah. And I have other friends that have gotten that done too. So before we close, why don't we just wrap up with what in the world that is? I sometimes use it as an appetizer of elevating the lip muscle in the right places. So when your lips in balance, your whole face shines. And there's other things that go into it. There's lip framing. There's, you got to make your chin good. There's all kinds of things. But a lip flip is a very, lasts for about a month. It's a tiny little bit. And it can just, you know, elevate the border of the lip so that it just plumps up a little bit. So it kind of gives a little appetizer of what, a little bit of filler that might last a little bit longer. But can, it's not can filler. Look like. It's, it's not Botox. filler. It's Botox. And you don't do a lot because... You need those muscles to move so you can talk and eat and things like that. Oh, which, oh my gosh, I almost forgot about one other question that someone sent in about lip filler because, and they were wondering why can't we share lip fillers with friends because I just need such a tiny amount and it's so expensive. And then the tube just is there because I don't use the whole thing, they said. I understand where that could be a concern. Number one, there's really not a lot in that filler When I squirt that out, it's the size of a blueberry. One syringe is the size of a blueberry. That's how much gel comes out. And honestly, if you're really assessing someone, if they have a recessed chin, if they have heaviness in their folds above the lip, they might have a lateral cheek where something is really off to where their lips will not look like a 10. There's going to be more areas that you can use that lip filler. Patients like that are good lip bump, Botox lip bump girls. Okay. And so, so if you don't need a lot, maybe well, ask your... Also, if you are... I'm not going to put a syringe into someone else's lips and then change the needle out and use that same syringe for their friend. Like, that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why. That's the answer yes, to the question. that's the basic answer, yes. <laughs> and then if you don't need that much, then maybe ask your injector about the lip bump because then it'll be... Because it's just the different. Botox I, I draw up and inject. Yes. Boom. Don't forget to screenshot this episode for the Zio product giveaway. You can tag me at Radio Amy and then Carrie is at the Nashville Beauty Girl on Instagram. And thank y'all for listening. And thank you, Carrie, for your expertise. Always. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like, to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit Tacovas.com. That's T-E-C-O-V-A-S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. All right, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a simple truth that no matter who you are, mental health challenges can affect you and how you manage them can really make all the difference. That's why everyone should have access to mental health support that meets them where they are and helps them get through things. Now, BetterHelp provides online therapy on your schedule. It's flexible, simple to use, and more affordable than in-person therapy. Connect with a licensed therapist selected just for you. Learn more at BetterHelp.com. That's BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com.
The 24 Toyota Tacoma and Tundra both rank in the top 10 for resale value among all vehicles for 2024, according to Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com. So choose a Toyota truck and get the confidence that your vehicle will retain its value year after year. That's Toyota resale value. Visit buyatoyota.com. Vehicles projected resale value is specific to the 2024 model year. For more information, visit Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com. Kelly Blue Book is a registered trademark of Kelly Blue Book Company, Inc. Toyota, let's go places.